Hello YouTube, I'm reporting today. Um, I got the rest of my CD3 blood work back and everything came back normal. I'm so excited. I had my FSH tested, Estradiol, LH and AMH tested. Everything came back in the normal range. I am so relieved. This means that I can do the timed intercourse with Famara. I probably, I mean, I'm not sure why I didn't, um, I late my last two rounds of Clomid, maybe it was just a fluke, who knows. I don't think I want any, like, the injectables just yet. I want to save that. I, I mean, I'm afraid of high-risk multiples, and you know, high-order multiples. I just don't want to go through that. I had a friend who had natural twins. She ended up delivering at 33 weeks due to an infection, and her baby stayed in the hospital for almost nine weeks in the I, NICU, the NICU. I don't want to go through that. So, I just, I'm just so excited. I, I mean, I'm jumping for joy. I thought I was so broken. I thought that for sure something would come back abnormal. But it seems like my only issue at this point is I'm not ovulating. And simple pills can take care of that. So, Femer is the next step. If I don't ovulate on the doses that I'm going to start, maybe 5 milligrams, then I'll move up and then we'll go from there. I just, I'm just, ugh over the moon over the moon I don't know if my frustrations about all this have come out in my videos but it's just like my husband has been with me since 2010 I found out about the PCOS in 2009 I dealt with it for a year on my own and then you know now we've been dealing with it together it's almost 2013 that's almost three years so <laughs> this is just like the best news ever I really really wish that a doctor would have told me or at least testing me for all this stuff prior to just, you know, saying this is all in my head. You know, just, you know, once you're in a better place, once you're, you know, not so stressed about it, it's just going to happen. Because that's possible. It's possible and true that, you know, if I'm not so worried about it, that it'll happen. But at this point, I'm just like, oh my gosh, a baby is so likely. Like, if I just can ovulate and ovulate one of my good eggs and get it fertilized, I'll be fine. And I also, I think I trust my doctor's word, because this is the same RE who scheduled all these testing that no other RE has. And I trust her that maybe my tubes really aren't blocked and maybe the HSG isn't necessary. So it's just like, oh my god, relief, relief, relief. I can't believe it. So, you know, I'm ready for pregnancy. I'm ready for baby. Um, we'll probably try for 2013 to be our year because, you know, when I first started, I was like, okay, we're going to go 2011. No, we're going to go 2012. Now I'm like, well, 2013 seems to be it because things are falling into place and I'm being treated properly. I'm not being treated like I'm crazy and that I'm making stuff up or that PCOS isn't real or blah 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 so I'm just really excited I'm just in the normal ranges for everything so even with PCOS all my levels are coming back normal so we'll move on from there see what the RE says she did tell me that if I wanted to my husband could and I could just do the tomorrow with time and intercourse and that would be fine with her so I think I'll take her up on that offer Ooh, it was a good day. So again, next time I te well, next time I vlog, I'll probably have the Femara already and all that. I'm not sure if my husband's gonna do a sperm analysis first. Like I've said, he already has a young, young, young child, so it's not like his you know junk doesn't work or whatever. But you never know because things do change with men over time. But I've read about 90 year old men fathering you know babies, so. Here we go. And thank you for watching. I'll vlog when I have more information in the coming days and weeks. But thank you for watching.